Hello everyone, this is Leaf on the Wind here now, welcoming you back to Victoria 2, the Historical Project Mod 3.8.3. And we are doing our final one of Super Germany, more than likely. Um, we got beat up by Italy and France and Gundung, my former puppet, which now spreads into Southeast... Yeah, okay. Southeast, uh, or the Southeast, uh, Asia here into, uh, Indonesia. They are a great power, the 8th most powerful, but the 4th most powerful military. And I have a feeling, I have a feeling, um, they're probably going to try and unify with China. Um, and bring China into full fold here if they had the time to do it. I don't think they will, but we're going to find out. They're doing this war training. Okay. I almost would be very tempted to extend the date of this playthrough in order to see what they do to China here. Because that would be amazing. Now, I'm going to have to get two armies over here to at least defend these areas. Oh, God. Okay. We got rebels. But, yeah, we're going to have to get two armies over there to at least defend those areas. Eventually. And I can't destroy factories. Okay. Okay. I have no idea what party loyalty does, but I'm desperately trying to get it so we become more conservative in the next election. I wonder if that's German rebels they're fighting. That would be funny. Nope, not enough. Ooh, we're starting to go negative. Military access. Why don't I have military access through you, Ukraine? I should. Oh my god, look at Dung. Gun Dung. Oh my god. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's Japan's. Oh, okay. I'm not going to lie, I honestly think Gundung could probably take Japan. If they felt like it. Oh no, we got nationalists. Well, what are they fighting now? They are fighting China. Italy's on their side. Japanese war of aggression. They're going to force them to dismantle their empire. Oh, we are on this. We are on this. You are my former ally. We are all over this. Wait, did I click on the wrong thing? Huh? Are you going to call me in? Oh, come on. I got puppets galore waiting to do something with you. No, we don't want fish. They have a dismantle CB on here. This is the empire I grew with my own two hands, Japan. What was that? What happened here? Huh. Interesting. Alright, how are we doing on rebel movements right now? Not too terrible, I really don't care. 
<clears throat> Alright, I think I think the fact I created him is breaking game mechanics at this point. Not gonna lie, I honestly think that's what it is. That is a lot of communists I'm seeing. Hmm. Alright, nuts to it. We're doing another state of emergency. Come on, my pretties. We gotta go over to our uh, holdings here in Shanghai. Where's the diplomatic map mode? Um, nope, that's civilization level, administration, colonial, diplo, diplo, diplo. I'll find this. Denounce the campaign! Alright, so they don't hate me about me? Alright, everyone hates me but my puppets. Oh, look at the US, they hate me. Ireland, for some reason, loves them. That's interesting. engineers yet. Come on, people, get building. Oh, they're all coming out of Berlin. No wonder it's taking forever. Oh my god, the world is weird. The Ottoman Empire is still the Ottoman Empire. I have the German Near East. Gundong is, like, Southeast Asia and Philippines and Indonesia and all that crap. Reminds me. I can release Indonesia. And apparently I have a province of Lithuania. Interesting. Goodbye, Indonesia. Go be yourself. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Where's Indonesia? There it is. Give me military access. Even though I think I... I think I told myself, too, that it's like, ah, it's a bad idea. I'm gonna go ahead and release him anyway. China is just all kinds of messed up. I mean, I pretty much have solidified all of Eastern, Eastern Europe there and most of Western, but China is all kinds of messed up. And I got the I got Turkmenistan, Turkestan here, which is doing a fantastic job being them. Iran's formed and is fairly stable. 
not absolutely destroyed. Train's caucuses are there. I mean, it's not it's not a horrible map mode. Africa is, you know, Africa. I never did get around to pumping chili. But that's okay. Screw you, fascists. Less socialism this time. So yeah, I mean, I got... Africa's Africa. I have a really stable North Somaliland there. Oh, that's not good. <clears throat> France and the United States are becoming friends. Alright, uh, more press freedom. There you go. Have fun. German North Somaliland, Congo Free State. We have stupid Congo there, which is a thing. I don't know why they couldn't just incorporate everything all together. Um, German Madagascar. Colonial unrest, who cares? I, li I don't think I have... I think my only colonies would be those trade ports. Get on the boat. Let's see here. If I lose my great power, my number one status here now, I'm going to be extremely pissed off. I do like the fact that Italy's number one, or number two, but I know that's only because they had that prestige bug in here. And the fact that me and me and Italy share this 6,000 prestige and everyone else is in the, you know, low hundreds, mid hundreds, uh... Yeah, that prestige bug was really a thing. <laughs> Even without it, though, I am very... I mean, with my pure industry, I probably would still be number one. Oh, look at that. France declared war on us again. Alright, everyone's coming in on this. Luckily, I have armies this time. We can do this. We can, in fact, definitely do this, I bet. I don't know if we'll get it before the end of the game, but... The game, the game's ending here soon, isn't it? Yeah, it's not long. Option to dismantle their nation? You suck. Well, fine, we'll put it on there. Let's do this. We'll do it to you again, France. This will be the, what, the second or third time I've done that? I just lost an army because I wasn't paying attention. Come on, my allies, we gotta do this. Oh, for freak's sakes, France. Where are you getting all these men? 
It's not like you've been breeding them over the past 20 years or something. Alright, you guys gotta fall back. <clears throat> you guys also have to fall back. I need to break through. Well, we've done a major breakthrough in the south. The north is another story. Oh yeah, we're all over this. Let me make sure of something. Um Okay, it doesn't doesn't tell me. I wonder how much prestige I would not get if I or I would lose if I didn't do that. So, I was a little curious. Got new Granada over here and everything. Oh, yeah. Better go help him. Well, I don't think we're going to get this before the game ends. Yeah, maybe. Oh, we lose almost 2,000 prestige. Let's do it. Yeah! Suck on that, France! That loses us a lot of prestige, but that's fine. I'm still number one. Oh, barely. No, oh, still have, still waiting on Berlin to get me engineers. <clears throat> right, I don't care what you say, that was a success. Allies with them. What, trans caucuses? What are you at war with? Uh, I don't care. Go nuts. Do your thing. Long live Germany! So says Germany. Yep, Congo went broke. From fighting my war, probably. Oh man, this has been a fantastic playthrough. Some weird stuff have definitely been happening, though. Like, I mean, China alone, just look at China. What in the world's happening here? <clears throat> China's a mess. Germany's fantastic. The United States is a complete mess. Germany is fantastic. But look at, 
Look at the U.S. No Canada. There's Newfoundland. There's Colombia. The U.S. went to war with uh, Great Britain numerous times. Freaking Montana was... Parts of Montana were liberated. It's like... What? And it's like... Just look at this thing. South America looks fairly normal. Other than Jungdong has a uh, colony over here. Has a state. Uh, Africa's okay-ish, I guess. I did a whole bunch of releasing of puppets over here, so, you know, that happened. You got Jungdong Indonesia here, which is whole level of awesome. I mean, those are states too, right? No, they're colonies. Okay. Oh, I release Indonesia. <laughs> so there's German Indonesia. I have trade ports over here, which is fine, uh, but it's one of these where it's like, what happened to China? Um, I beat the crap out of Russia. Oh, this was a good playthrough. This was a fantastic playthrough. I almost want to take these two regions from Russia just to link my puppets all the way through. That would have been interesting. But Germany, Germany has some really big typeface here. A little longer, and I probably could have beat the living crap out of the entire world. Jung Dung doing what they did, though. It's like... That's unfortunate. Because I specifically released them to make them my puppet there. Alright, I'll give you your freaking free press. Actually, you want meetings. There you go, there's public meetings. Be happy. <clears throat> oh my god, what a great playthrough. And now I finally got the conservatives. Finally got an elected. Maybe I should have started doing conservative stuff a little earlier. That probably would have helped. Oh my god. But that is the end of my Germany playthrough. Oh my god. Super Germany is super. It's not all Germany, but puppets are amazing. Um, Germany are east. I have trade ports. I have North Somaliland. I, I basically have from the east to the west coast in uh, Africa here. Linked. I have this western part of Africa, all my puppets. Uncivilized, still primitive, I don't really care about that. Partially westernized, but we had a lot of civilized nations in there. Benin, which had a decent military, actually. Actually helped me out with some of that. The only South American country that is not mine is Gunaya and uh, Chile. I love the fact I got uh, Venezuela cores back for from uh, what's in faces British. Oh man, the way the U.S. looks. The U.S. is fairly normal except for this chunk missing here and what happened in you know the Northwest Territories. Uh, so that's fairly normal. Denmark still owns that. Oh yeah, and Sweden's mine. That's right. Oh god, it's been a fantastic playthrough. I hope all of you have enjoyed it. Um, that's for sure. All right, <clears throat> rounding this out, Germany, 11,000 points. Next is Italy. Uh, Prestige is definitely most of that. But we got Gundung, New Granada, Peru, Australia's up there, Yugoslavia, and then you have the other China. Oh, my God. Ledger-wise, I want to see something. Um, military score, Japan, United Kingdom, Germany, Gundung. All right, and I was just rebuilding my military. It's such a mess. Prestige-wise, clearly because of the glitch that would cause it. I probably would have still come out as number one, even without the glitch there. Um, just because of how high my industrial score is. Um, yeah, that was that was a good one. Um, total population, United Kingdom, 400 some, And then Gundung, 300 million. And then me with 180. Good God. I'm really thinking Gundung could have taken... Um, could have easily taken uh, Japan if they really wanted to fight it out. Let's see here. What were we? Um, we were a republic, that's right. Um, don't really care about that. None of that matters. Um, that's actually a curiosity. Who had the most capitalists? Oh my god, look at me compared to the United States with capitalists. I probably should have backed off on that. Uh, more intellectuals. 2 million clerks, 12 million craftsmen, oh yeah. Uh, soldiers, raw soldiers, came in third. Oh, but officers, ooh, came in third again. 
Oh, that's breaking down my individual run. Okay, out of sheer curiosity, I want to know this. Berlin had 25,000. Okay, yeah. Whew. Alright. That's a lot of everything. Price history. <laughs> Alrighty. Alrighty, everyone. I will call it here for this Victoria 2 playthrough. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. This was a, made a super, super Germany at that point. Puppets were awesome. I don't care what anyone says. Puppets are awesome. And I will see you guys for whatever I play next. Later.